What's up guys, come to a new video today. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders mod for 1.7.2 Minecraft. So today we're going to be installing the mod. I've got these links right here. So I'm going to be downloading them. So we got these three links. I'm going to be putting them in the description. So we've got Minecraft Forge. This is the shaders mod itself. And this is the shader pack. So the first thing we're going to want to do is install the forge so we can just wait on that we have five seconds so the next thing we're gonna do right here here okay so there we go now it's downloading so we can close well, actually now I'll just leave it there the next thing we're gonna do is uh go to the shaders mod download page so next we're gonna click on this and it's the reason why I'm doing this here is because it's kind of sketchy like it's in a comment thing I put it in so you, that's where that you get the download link and there we wait five seconds and the last thing we got to do is get the shader pack which is the SUS version 10.1 preview one so it's in beta it's not fully released yet and the last thing we got to do is download this so there we go we're gonna keep it, it's not gonna harm your computer, don't worry about that. So now we're gonna show and folder for all these guys. Okay, and we can just minimize this. So now we're gonna wanna find all the stuff we downloaded. So we got Forge. I'm just putting them on the desktop to make it a little bit easier to see them all. And then we can search for shader. So there we got shader mod core, and this is the shader pack. Okay, nice. So now, next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to install the shader, or not sorry, the forge mod. Now, I downloaded. If we go back, oh, if you go back, I downloaded the installer dot win or whatever dash win. That's for my operating system. I don't know actually, to be honest with you, what you do for Mac, but. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is you're going to want to left click on this, just allow it to go on, and it's going to find your .minecraft folder, so if it's not on all this stuff, then you got to change that up to find your .minecraft folder, and you can install client, and there we go, we ins successfully installed the forge. Next thing we got to do is start up Minecraft real quick. Now, the forge is already got right here, so if it isn't, you gotta find forge. And you can see here, you can check if you have like other versions of forge or something. It's 1.7.2 and a bunch of this gibberish, which means you got forge on 1.7.2. So next thing we gotta do is run this, and what this will do is um, create a mods folder, because forge, you have to install mods by just putting them in the mods folder. You don't have to put them in like the Minecraft jar, which is way before. So there we go, we got the mods folder down. Now, right here, here's our mods folder. We're gonna be dropping our shaders mod core in here. Um, I like to make it so it's a RAR file, so this is what I do. It doesn't harm it to put three different files of the same thing in here, but, um, I don't think you have to do it. You might have to do it, and if you have to do it, you have to have WinRAR or 7-Zip or something like an archiving program. So right now you got the shaders mod installed. So we're going to start up Minecraft once again. And from right here, you got to make sure you have Forge on again. And we're going to start up Minecraft, but before we do that, before we get into a game actually, um, we're going to be installing the shader pack so we can go to options shaders open shader folder and drop right, right in so there we go that's done and we can go to single player I have like one of these worlds it's not a big deal okay so then we go to shaders there we go so this is the shaders mod. Now you see I don't have clouds on and that's because the volumetric clouds uh, which are the realistic clouds I'm going to be showing you how to get these right after 
But if you don't want the volumetric clouds, this is what your clouds are going to look like. So you got the block clouds. It is a little bit buggy. So you see right here, it's like you got a shadow on the cloud and it's kind of weird loading and stuff. Um, but this is what your cloud should look like without the volumetric clouds. You still have got the reflective water from right here. And you still got the shadows, which are really nice. The sun glare, all that cool stuff, waving grass. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, now if you're completely fine with this, you could stop watching this, but if you want the volumetric clouds, which are the realistic clouds, continue to watch. So now we're going to close Minecraft once again. And the last thing we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to go back to our minecraft, dot minecraft folder. So we got to do percent app data percent. All right. Go to dot minecraft. And from right here, you're going to want to find your shader packs folder. Now you're going to need WinRAR for this as well, so you open up shader packs, the shader pack, uh, the SUS version 10.1 preview, go to shaders, and right here you'll see this first file called composite.fsh. You want to open this with notepad. When you try to open it the first time, you're going to be asked what you could do with it. You could open it with, it's called WordPad or notepad, it's the same thing. So now, right here you're going to want to find the calculate clouds part and from right here you're just going to want to find next until you find the one with two slashes right here so you get rid of these guys and you want to close this you want to save it and you want to update the archive as well and you want to close it that's all you had to do really now you can start up minecraft and the last thing, if you really wanted to get perfect, you can do is, I'll show you when, right when we start up. Basically, the cloud layer, the second cloud layer that I had before, so there would be like the regular clouds of Minecraft and the realistic clouds are going to come together. And oh, that's an issue, obviously. So what you can do is just disable clouds. So right here, you see. You got your nice clouds and your bad clouds. So you want to go to video settings and turn the clouds off. And there you go. So you got the realistic clouds right here. The sunset, very nice, very nice. Uh, you got your shaders, reflective water, everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to subscribe, be a cool guy, do that. Um, and also, if you want to like the video, I don't know how many likes we can get on this video, to be honest with you. But yeah, so I guess this sums up the video. And yeah. I'll see you later.